the hardest bit is over. And we never have to see this godforsaken park again. <laughs> It was so weird sleeping in a bed. I woke up and I was a bit... I thought I'd been kidnapped or something. to see all of them and uh, my niece and nephew would jump straight on me as soon as I saw them. <laughs> they already know my situation because um, I've always been honest with them about it but there's, they can't really do anything about it. She said that I've got to learn my own decisions in life and I will, when I realise them decisions, then I can go back and stuff. She basically just wants me to learn about life on my own. My muddy suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> it's battery powered. Cheekily put a bit of like scrap strapnel in there so people know. Yes, I've been black, but when I come back, you know, know, know. I ain't got the time And if my daddy thinks I'm fine Just try to make me go to rehab But I said no, no, no We only said goodbye with words I died a hundred times You go back to her And I'll go back to uh, Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm rich. <laughs> Bloody rich. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm going to do an open mic to get myself known so people, like, know who I am. I'm only going to do one song, though. You're supposed to do three, but I don't know three songs on the guitar. So, yeah, that should be good. I've got my ID back now as well, so I can have a pint before I sing. <laughs> <laughs> Too early. Too early. Too early. Yeah. Yeah, it's like eight o'clock. It's, it's about as early as it gets. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not early right off. So I have to be from the shelter. Realistically, we haven't really got that long. Like, two, like, just under two months. Like. You know, even if you have a home and you're getting a new home, that's still not that's still not enough time, really, is it, to get in, to sort out a new place? So I think we'll be back on the streets, but at least the weather will be better. Hopefully, yeah, well... can't be any worse. Yeah, you need to engage with different organisations to get help. Yeah. And they're not always as helpful as they make out. What happened with your? Didn't you have an appointment yesterday? Yeah, it was for drugs counts, drugs doctors. Um, they can give people like methadone and subutex. Um, like, alcoholics will get, like, you have to go to meetings and you might get a sponsor and give, be given, like, Valium and Librium and whatever. Go right across the road. Really? Yeah. All right, mate. Yeah. The shoes look good. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you want some cigarettes, sir? No. <laughs> Come on. 
So I haven't had a place for two years. I had to pair up with a friend. Um, we were both women, vulnerable, and we slipped out. It was cold, it was wet. I said I want to come back to Hastings when I was born and bred, where I've got my friends and family, I've got a connection. And they told me I can't help because I'm not vulnerable enough when I am vulnerable. Um, dyslexic, slow learning. I went to speech therapy when I was little. It doesn't class as, like, um, disability. I was very nervous to start with being outside. Worst part was um, being away from my mum um, because I have a close relationship. She's like a best friend and the mum at the same time as well. These are the beds. These are camp beds. And we have to use them to lie, lay out. Men on this section, and the ladies be put there for tonight. OK. All sorted. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Teamwork. Good. I can get very sick. It's like lights come out at 11 every night, but separate from the men. But we're allowed in the men's section, but the men's section not allowed in the women's section. We're not allowed to lay on the men's beds, only sit on them. Eight to the... We do have some snorers. They get disturbed at the end of their bed to, like, turn over. So I start off with my name at the top. I really, really want a job. Have you had a job before? No, never. And I'm 18. I need one. All my friends work. So I'd like to work. What the fuck? I didn't even get expelled from my mainstream school. I just kept getting excluded. So social moved me from Edenbridge all the way up to Margate and put me in a special needs school in Ashford. I'm not special needs, mate. You know what I mean? I'm just a bit <laughs> out there. <laughs> I didn't like anyone. I didn't, couldn't have people touching me or talking to me. I've come right out my shell. It's good. I've calmed down a lot, a lot. You couldn't even have a conversation with me a few years ago, because I'll just tell you to do one. I'll miss my friends and talking to them. I look so different. <laughs> to be honest with you, my quotes on here, my quotes on here aren't very happy, even though I look happy. This one says, I think I might break. I've lost myself again, and I feel unsafe. And then the next one says, we're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. But the next one says, my life's been fucking painful from the start. Grow up poor, mind state. Life's a fucking bitch. <laughs> Get over it. Where do you think it stems from? Being taken away from my mum and my family. Being on the street really messed it up really bad. Surprised I didn't like try and hurt myself or hurt someone. The amount of times someone started on me or made me feel angry. I need to sort myself out first, like my head state, but hopefully getting a job might help that. I feel like I'm taking a step forward.
I know it's not exactly safe here, but I sleep over there. The time I've got through there, because you only you sleep with one eye open. I haven't seen you this, have I, Clive? Just in case. <laughs> no, the time they got through there, because I sleep on this side. Yeah. The time they got to me there, if they threatened me, it would just be like... Yeah. Well, it, oh, I hope I never have to use it, but... You, you don't... You don't sleep. You just can't. Well, mind you, look, you've got... If you sit here, it, it might... That's my bedroom, this is my lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you see over here, you've got nice sea views. <laughs> it's nice, you know. Sunset. You can get a really nice sunset and sunrise. Some of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen. They extended the plant now, then we're there a bit longer. And if we're not housed, then we're back out on the street. We, we don't know what to do next. Like, you know, and it, we're helpless at the moment. We need them. You know, this is the time for the help. Once that's over, it's, it's going to be like a dream, like it never happened. Even like walking up, when I walk down the street, I, I feel like half the time people know I'm homeless, you know. Like, I ask them off the time and they're running away from me. <laughs> All the things they think I'm asking for money or something, you know. It's, I want to be what a normal person is again, do you know what I mean, you know. Well, I thought it went all right and I thought a few, few places seemed interested in me. But no one's got back to me, unfortunately. I've got to pay the rent today, and I've got zero. Well, I've got four pounds seventy, and I've got to make that into a hundred. I don't want to lose the place I'm in. I can't. I can't imagine going back to living how I was living. You're right, babe. I haven't, I haven't had a job. I really want one. But, yeah, I've never had a job because I haven't got experience. Yeah. Now. Yeah, like when I became homeless, yeah. I lost my two food jobs because of yeah. hygiene. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, you know, I couldn't go in like day. How can we get a job? Like, you try going to work, like, smelling how we smell and feeling how we feel and fucking looking how we look. So you might just have to bear with. <laughs> Should I have only just opened it as well? All right. So as standard, we do provide a single bed. So you can bring in all of your own belongings. If you want things put up on the walls, we do say, like, we'll, we'll do it for you. We've got housing benefit form that we need to go through, the equal opportunities, which I wouldn't necessarily ask you them. I'd just get you to read it and tick it anyway. All right, so yeah. you are officially a YMCA tenant. Thank you very How much. How do you feel? Excited. <laughs> Good. And happy to be one of your tenants. Good, we're happy to have you. So I have labelled them no, all for you. Oh, thank you. Flat key, and then you've got room key. Mm -hmm. There is thank also you. that little key there, that's for your post box outside. Okay, thank you. Been a while since you've had your own keys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy I've got my own place now and look forward to the future now. To hopefully get a job once I'm off the sick first. You started mouthing off and get about him again. 
Uh, Wait, I believe wrapped you up. Oh, no. you be some sort of carry on. do you. Oh, come on, then. Well, well, I take it you've had your second can today, well, have you? Well, I don't care whatever oh, what? judgment you Just want to put in. Not interested. No. The other day, there was a load of people in there, up to all sorts. I didn't know how to get them out, and I said, oh, if I were you, I'd be careful, because the police were on their way. I've never seen the whole place vacate so quickly. <laughs> I thought, oh, that's a good touch. You do have to expect the unexpected. Expect that you could be robbed, expect that you could be beaten up, expect that you could be raped, expect that anything, and I mean anything, could happen. Police say that someone from one of the flats over the road saw it ablaze and alerted the fire brigade. But the mattress is burnt right out from the inside. But you can see the bench here, you can see where it all started. That pole is white. Now look at that one. You see, look what it's done to the bench. It's done all the damage here. But apparently I wasn't here at the time and thank God no one else was. Otherwise someone could have potentially been hurt. I've been thinking for days, where shall I go, where shall I stay? But I, I really don't know. I am going to an open mic to sing like Beyonce. <laughs> uh, it's open mic, let's, let's have some sort of clapping. Yeah! Let's uh, give Kelly a round of applause. Go, Kelly! Hi, guys. Um, I haven't done anything like this in a while, and I literally taught myself how to play guitar, like, a couple of months ago, so... <laughs> I'll just try. I've never had experience, but I'd, I want to be a barmaid so bad. <laughs> I street perform literally just there by CEX. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you later. They only do part-time work, but they are looking for someone, so that looks like a really funky little place. So if they like me or like, like the look of my CV, you never know, you could be higher in the next Amy Winehouse. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Not really hurting anymore. Going into my room. 